ice is clear, there's magic in the air, and it's a nice night for a hockey game. And there's no one better to play than Charlie Stangowitz. Just face off already. Should I play you right or left-handed? You know, I'm starting to think you're scared to play me at all, Inigo. Prepare to die. NHL! Stangowitz slides up the wing. He moves in on Whiteside, who sources say enjoys the odd bubble bath. Stangowitz shoots, and he scores! What a goal! And what a player on and off the ice. Whiteside, who sources say likes Irma more than April O'Neil, is in utter disbelief. Uh oh. Whiteside drops his gloves. Ooh. Ooh. And he starts pummeling Stangowitz, who sources say doesn't even need a cup. Come on, Bobby, let's play one more game. Yeah, we can play again tomorrow. We can play today. Now, you never make the most of things while you have them. What's that supposed to mean? It's like Karen. When are you gonna make that happen? I'm telling you, man, you gotta tell that girl how you feel. Man, that's not, that's not how I do things. I know, that's why I talked to her for you. What? I consider my Christmas present to you. Man, you know that I hate Christmas. And if I wanted to talk to Karen, I would have talked to Karen. Plus, I'm getting out of here, Charlie. I'm leaving, you know that, right? Can't come soon enough. Well, sources say that the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. There's here, and then there's out of here. Just shovel a path straight across the lake. Oh, that'd take forever. No, man. We'll do it next year. Me and you, it'll be, uh, it'll be like a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Funny. Come on, man, one more game. Foxy, sweetie, take Hop Hop off the table, please. Bobby! <sighs> Jeremy, your hat. Sorry. Where's your brother? What do you say? Hey, Jeremy. There you are. Hurry up. Your breakfast is getting cold. have a hard time getting their teenagers out of bed in the morning. Can we please not do this again today? He was out in that darn lake again. Why don't you just eat your gosh darn breakfast? Hey, hey, watch all that language in front of your sister. I don't give a darn. Roxy Whiteside! You see? Hmm. I gotta go to work. Hmm. Have a good day. Thank you. Roxy, sweetie, hurry up so we can get ready for school, okay? Sure.
embarrassed that your mom teaches at the school? No. Nope. I don't care about that. Look, Bobby. Christmas is only a few weeks away, and I know it's a hard time for all of us. For you especially, since losing Charlie last year. But I really want our family to be present this Christmas. We haven't had the whole family present in nine years. I mean in the moment. Whatever. I don't want to talk about Christmas. Well, you're gonna have to. At least for tonight. We have to stop at the mall on the way home so that Roxy can sit on Santa's lap. At least do it for Roxy. Have a good day at school. Cream, no sugar, right? Yes, please. Thank you, Stanley. I'm running a bit behind this morning. Just about at the halfway point for the year. Yes, it is. And you're last. Retirement is shaping up to be busier than teaching. This new business venture of mine. I hear you're shutting down the old theater. Better opportunity came along. You know, everyone thought you were buying the Frasers out to help them. This town is changing, Sarah. Doesn't have to be a bad thing. I suppose. I just wish I would have gone more before we lost it. Oh, by the way, I know you were keen on giving the Johnson kid a pass, but I've had run-ins with him before. Uh, I spoke with the principal and his expulsion's been reinstated. Just wanted you to hear it from me. What are you looking over there for, Knight Rider? Yeah, we're trying to talk to you. Hey. How come you never get changed with the rest of the team? Yeah, don't you get tired of changing your own dressing room? I mean, you could just play on a girls' team and save us all the trouble. Unless you like playing with guys. Oh, you sure Ooh. like playing with Owen Douglas, didn't Ooh, you, Knight Rider? Dougie. <laughs> Ooh, Dougie. Ooh. What are you looking at, Whiteside? You quit the team, remember? This isn't any of your business anymore. Evan and Brian, would you please face forward in your desks? Darren Anderson. Here. Karen Bell. Here. Come on, Bobby, just one more game. It'll be a Christmas miracle. Bobby, can I speak with you for a second? I've uh, noticed some friction between you and Evan and Brian. Look, I know your father, and he always had a bit of a temper. I'm not gonna have any problems with you this Christmas, am I? Attention ladies and gentlemen, the mall will be closing in 10 minutes. Hey, we're not even gonna get to this joker by the time the mall closes. I have a million things to do, and this is the only night I can get it done. Don't ruin this for your sister, please. Oh, hey there, little boy. Oh, it's a little girl, it doesn't matter. Okay, back her in slow, there we go. Make sure she doesn't see whose lap she's sitting in. Right ahead there, we'll get a nice picture. And my wife left me for a garbage man. Ho, 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 goodbye. Wow, can you believe this guy? Who, Santa? Roxy, I'm gonna tell you the same thing that someone told me at your age. Six? Don't you dare, she's eight. You don't remember, do you? Roxy, sweetie, you're next. Hey there, what's your name, little girl? Roxanne. Oh, that's a nice name for a little girl. Were you good this year? Because you gotta be a good girl at Christmas time. Come on, yeah, let's get the picture for my mom already. 
Excuse me? Man, I can't even tell if he's having a heart attack or crap in his pants. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Five minutes until close. Hey, what is your problem, dude? You're gonna ruin it for the other kids. Yeah, like you're doing them any favors. You know what, screw this. I'll be in the car. Well, Merry Christmas. <gasps> what did you just say? Oh, I said, Merry Christmas. Whoa. Oh no, this little boy fell down. You're right there, Slugger. You're right there, Plugger. You're right there, Slugger. Tell me you're okay. Oh goodness, thank goodness you are all right. You took quite a tumble. He's okay, everybody. My heavens, I'm so happy we don't have to fill out papers. Tell you what, you want to play a game? Why don't you be Santa and I'll be you, since you seem to be the expert, huh? Hey, hey. wait, wait, wait. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I want a bicycle. I want a Nintendo. Give me a Tickle Me Elmo doll. Come on, awesome. let's take a, I want to take a picture of you. Claire, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, Let me Claire. go, you psycho. I'm the psycho. You tried to punch Chris Kringle in the face, and I'm the psycho. Ladies and gentlemen, all is now closed. Merry Christmas. Excuse me, hot soup coming through. Bobby, just one more game. You can consider it my Christmas present to you. Sources say Bobby Whiteside hasn't missed a step since he left the team. Woo! And he scores! Top shelf, right where Mom keeps the peanut butter. What in the world is this place?
Who's there? Wake up. Oh, it's Saturday. You have to come and see. <sighs> what are we doing here, man? Just wait. Are you screwing with me? It. it was right here. What was? A hockey pond. Pure white ice, big lights. Oh, it was beautiful, Jer. It was, it was right here. I'm going back to bed. You're an a-hole. The development is happening, Mom. I thought we had support. We can't sell, Jeremy. My father built this house. Can I have you condemn dinner now? Just a few more bites, okay? Nobody can pass this up. Some don't have the choice. The Johnsons and the Davies signed. We're the last house on the lake. Dinner started over half an hour ago. Take it easy, Jeremy. We'll be all right. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Mr. Plow had me up this morning to skate across the lake for no gosh damn reason. I used to get up early all the time to drive you to actual hockey before you lost your spot on the team. And now apparently you're losing your mind. I didn't lose my spot, I quit. Calm down, Bobby. And I'm not crazy. Was that necessary? I had enough of this. Hello, Bobby. Hi, Mrs. S. Come in, come in, out of the cold. <sighs> Thank you. But, um, actually, I was wondering if Mr. S was around. He's down at the shop, Bobby. What did you need? Uh, I, I, uh, I wanted to get my skates sharpened. But I figured the shop was closed, so I came over. Richard spends most of his time down at the shop these days. I'm sure he'd be happy to see you. Well, thanks for the hot chocolate. Hold on one second. I have something for you. I found it when I was pulling out the Christmas decorations. Charlie wanted to give it to you last year. With everything that happened, we just lost track of things. Open it, please. I was wondering what he would give me. I'm sorry, Bobby. Everything just got packed up. You still haven't found his gift for Maggie. How is Maggie? 
Where is she? Oh, we don't know, Bobby. We never know. Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Well, like I said before, Bobby, I'll, if you just bring your skates in, I'll sharpen them any time for you on the house. And need me to lend you a pair? No, thanks. I'll manage. Um, say, Mr. S., you don't happen to know of any old outdoor rinks around here, do you? Well, there's the rink across the lot here. There's a Century Park across town. Here, little Bobby Whiteside's gonna sharpen our skates. <laughs> Just ignore him, Bobby. Anything I can help you boys with? Coach sent us to come try on some new jerseys. You got them ready? Yeah. Just give me a second. No problem. What is it? You've lived by the lake for a long time, right? Yeah, all my life, yes. You ever see anything out there? Like. What? I don't know. Any other ice surface? Some rink that just sort of... that just sort of appears. Appears? How do you mean? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just... I'm telling you, Mr. S, there's... there's a hockey pond out on that lake. Ryan, do you see that? What? Well, it's, it's a rink. Right there in the corner of the room. Oh my god, I do see it. <laughs> can you guys get over yourselves already, please? Oh, Knight Rider's coming to your defense, Bobby. Well, can she see it too? Oh, you probably drove over there. Now I see. <laughs> Hawking rink wasn't the only magic in the night. Ooh, Bobby. <laughs> Look at the magic rink, it's so beautiful. Thanks for the ride. Evan, Brian, that's enough. Merry Christmas. What'd you just say? I said, Merry. Come on, my son. Enough. Huh? Enough, I said! Man, I hope you have fun while it lasted, because everyone's glad you lost your spot on the team. I didn't lose anything. I quit. Yeah, you gotta keep telling yourself that. You'd surely be ashamed of you. Don't you ever say his and name. And why not? He was our friend, too. All right, all of you, out! And don't you bring my boy into this. He'd be ashamed of all of you. Out! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll go. Bobby! Bobby, wait up! Where are you going? I don't know. Home, I guess. I... I could give you a ride. I have my mom's car. You should get back to your team. Hey. Do you really see something out there? Go back to the game. Hi, Bobby. Did you see I don't know what I saw, right? Were you talking to Mr. S? What? 
No, what are you talking about? I'm talking about Hop Hop. Roxy lost him. Have you seen it? No. Someone's having a Merry Christmas. Screw you, Jeremy. Boys, that's enough. You know what, man? You've been acting like a punk all year. Yeah, well, that's funny. You've been acting like a punk your entire life. What's your problem? I hate this place. I hate this house. I hate this family, and I hate Christmas. Is that Bobby? Nice job. Jeremy, take her to bed, please. Ugh. Where have you been? Good evening, folks, and Merry Christmas. It sure is a nice night for a hockey game. Bobby. What did he just say? On the TV, what did he just say? I don't know. It's a nice night for a hockey game? Where are you going? Bobby! Hello there. Hey. Nice night for a hockey game. Bobby Whiteside leans in and waits for the puck drop. Oh, and he wins the face off clean and blasts by the wingman. Whiteside moving up to the defender. Whiteside slides it across the ice to his own wingman. It's a two on two break. from the net. He saucers the puck over to Whiteside. Whiteside passes it back. He one times it, and he scores! What a play by Whiteside! Sources say there's a spot on this team that only he can fill. Bobby, it's a nice stick. Yeah, yeah, 
I'm looking to sell if you're interested. You should keep it. Are you here to see the presentation? What? What presentation? The new development, all the condos and the strip mall. No, no. I don't really care. What are you talking about? It's going up around the entire lake. What? Well, we know that people have had some concerns about the New Haven development project, and we are happy to address them here. But we also know that many members of our community are excited. And several people have already reaped the benefits of coming to an agreement. Well, on that note, we'd like to thank Stanley Price for coming out today to show his support. Mr. Price? What's he doing here? We will begin construction in the next couple of weeks, and we hope to have the shoreline developed by next Christmas. Do, do Ron and Jeremy know about this? I can't believe you didn't know. Jeremy Whiteside is here as a representative of Blue Rise Contractors who won the bid on the project. Let's give them a big hand. Jeremy? Mom? Just take it easy, Bobby. Sorry for the interruption, folks. Now, allow me to share the details. I'm sorry, Bobby. I thought you knew. Don't worry about it. All this does is speed up my plans. here as long as you like, Bobby. But I know your mom would rather have you home. They're losing the house anyway. All the more reason to be there. Here. Feel free to use the car if you want to go see her. Will you need it? I don't drive anymore. This will be your room. This is Charlie's room. Richard doesn't want it to change. But I think it's time. I'll maybe just sleep on the couch for now, if that's okay. When'd you get here? Maggie, hey. I'm just staying here a few days till I can put together enough money to leave town. Ah, Charlie and I used to play out here all the time. We used to go to opposite sides of the clearing, <laughs> fortify up little walls, stock them up with snowballs, and have a war with each other. Yeah, or you'd throw them at me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. He used to take me out to the movies on Christmas Eve. Take my mind off of things. Or we'd go to the rink. When was the last time you skated? I lost my skates last year. It's too bad. I've got a great stick that's for sale. No thanks. You see Charlie's room? Messed up. Yeah. 
He always said I could have his room when he left. I thought he meant moving away, not dying in a car crash. No, I don't think I'll take him. These skates could sure use a sharpening, though. Come on, man. Why can't I sell this frickin' stick? Looks to me to be the perfect size for you to play with. I don't play anymore. Oh, believe me, I know. It took me three hours to clean up in here the other night. Sorry about that. Even hit the net. <laughs> hey, how about we get this hockey thing up and you can uh, give me a ride home? Or better yet, maybe you can just give me a ride. <laughs> you know what? We have tickets for the game tonight. You could just give us both a ride there. Oh, hi, <laughs> <Night> Ryder. <laughs> All right, Knight Rider, there's always field hockey. <laughs> yeah, or ringette. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you guys ever get tired of listening to yourselves? No. Wow, nice. You should have stopped at field hockey. Ooh. <laughs> Knight Rider. You two playing, or are you going to ride the bench? What are you doing here, Whiteside? Yeah, skates and everything. Try to keep this ice clear for the team. You know that. <laughs> I asked if you were playing. I guess we're just waiting on some worthy competition. Well, you're looking at it. You wish, Whiteside. I was talking about her. <laughs> wow. Okay, I don't have time for this. All right, enough screwing around. I want a game. Two on two, right now. We only play when it matters. Okay, why don't we play for those hockey tickets? It'll matter then, right? Not a chance. Yeah, no way we're putting those on the line. Fine. If you two win, I'll stay off this rink for the rest of the winter. But if we win, you two stay away. This is the first time you've been here this winter. I'll stay away all winter, too. <laughs> What's so funny? You know that she can beat you, right? Poster goals. First to 10. I just got my skate sharp. Was. Come on, what about all the slashing you were doing? Well, I was playing the puck. Yeah, that goal doesn't count. <sighs> you guys are down seven goals. Six. Does it really matter if we beat you on this goal or the next one? Screw that, next goal wins. No way. Next goal wins for the tickets. Evan, if we win, Karen quits the team for good. No, no deal. Deal.
was tripping. No, no, they beat us, man. Good game. Have fun. Um, you're not coming with me? Oh, no. Thanks. I'm all right. Why would you even stand up for me? What? You'll back me up with those douchebags, but you won't come to a game with me? What the hell, Bobby? I just, I don't think it's a good idea for us to be seen in the same car. Because of that Owen Douglas thing. Karen, Karen, hold up, wait. I can't I believe you would even have the nerve to say something like that. I don't bring up whatever it is you do on that lake at night. Okay, that's It's none, none of, of my business, exactly. Look, I didn't mean anything by it. I just don't want to give anyone a reason to give you a hard time. I can take care of myself, Bobby. Owen asked me if I wanted to, and you know what? I did. I thought he liked me. He was lucky to have me, actually. And the team is lucky to have me, and you would be lucky to come to a game with me. So don't blow it, jackass. Get in the car. Why does everybody have a stuffed animal? It's a teddy bear toss game. They do it every Christmas. <laughs> Great. So, what do you do with them? When our team scores their first goal, everyone throws their bear at the ice, and then the hockey team takes them to the children's hospital and stuff. Christmas is about giving Bobby. Christmas is about losing. Hey, sweet girl. <laughs> hey, Ma. Hi. I'm just gonna take Roxy inside and make some dinner. Okay. Hey, what's this? There's a letter here for you from the university. Yeah, I filled out an application. What are you talking about? I wasn't actually gonna go. I was just curious if I'd get in. Bet with the guys at work, you know? Great, not this guy again. How are you, Stanley? Hello, Sarah. What brings you over our way? Well, honestly, I was hoping we could discuss the New Haven project. We were just about to sit down for dinner. Oh. <sighs> so, I snuck onto the old McCleary farm and borrowed a tractor. We were still a little late, so I had to explain to her parents why I drove her home in a tractor. <laughs> so were you two dating or something like that in high school? No, no, nothing like that. Sarah was already with your father. Yeah, I heard that you knew Cole, my father. So, uh, where's Bobby tonight? Before Charlie died, he asked me if I liked you. You know, I'm leaving town soon. Yeah, after we graduate. Sooner. Oh, darn it. <laughs> yeah, real funny. Do you, um, have any napkins? I told you to get some. Really? Yep.
here. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Perfect. Not another one. Oh, yeah. I heard Santa beat the crap out of you. What? No way. That's not how it was. Uh-huh, sure. Well, that's just what all the kids in town are saying, so. Who? Everyone. They're all calling you Scrooge McPunch. <sighs> I hate that guy. How can you hate Santa? Christmas is the best. Four years ago, <laughs> we got a dog for Christmas. Now that was great. I loved them. Three years ago, at Christmas, <clears throat> he died. Got hit by the mail truck. And Speaking of trucks, ours died last year at Christmas on the way home from Charlie's funeral. And, you know, my dad. Your dad what? These are all gifts? Yeah. <laughs> so you really think this is your sister's? Yeah, I know it is. She lost it. It's a Christmas miracle. You know, a few days after he left, my mom asked me what I wanted for Christmas. I told her I wanted Santa to bring Dad home. And she told me, Santa's not real, Bobby. Something really special was lost. Thanks for the ride. Yeah. Uh, it was a fun game tonight. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> we still lost in the end. You really don't need to help, Stanley. My pleasure. Look, we haven't talked about it tonight, but you're the last property on the lake that hasn't signed an agreement yet. This is my home, Stanley. Home's where the heart is, sir. Don't feed me cliches. I've lived here my entire life. A lot of memories, you know? Yeah, not all good ones, if I recall. Don't start. What, like I'm not supposed to bring Cole into this? I know it's been nine years, but he left you in a tough spot. You've told me yourself your financial problems. What exactly is your role in this new development? I thought you were just some kind of consultant. I'm one of the principal partners, Sarah. It's inevitable. Just sign the deal, please. Well, the money offered is still in your favor. Hmm? Bobby. What's going on? Nothing. I was just leaving. Think about what I said, Sarah. Don't be a fool. What did you just say? Take it easy, kid. It's Christmas. Hmm? God! Let me go! What are you? Let me go! Bobby! Just let him go! I am a teacher and a businessman, darn it! What is wrong with you? You told me Santa wasn't real! What? What are you talking about? When I was nine, I asked about Dad, and you told me Santa wasn't real. Well, now you're 18, and I feel like I need to tell you again. 
Your father is not coming back, Bobby. And Santa is not real, just like your little hockey pond is not real. It's just how you're coping with losing Charlie. It's real. Bobby, I honestly don't care whether it's real or not. I just want you to come home. It's real. Fine. But has anyone else even seen it? Anyone other than you? Bobby? I have to show you something. No, well, I mean, that's, that's great. It's just, this isn't the 50s, man. I have a phone in here. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want to show me? I don't get it. It's supposed to be here. I'm sorry, Bobby. Maybe I am crazy. Don't say that. I, I believe you. You believe me? Yeah, of course. That does make me sound crazy. I'm, I'm just saying I'm here for you. What's that supposed to mean? Are you stupid, Bobby Whiteside? It means I like you. I, I liked you when Charlie asked me, and I like you now. You stand up for me when I don't ask you to. You show up at my window in the middle of the night. I mean, what is your deal? Doesn't matter, I'm, I'm leaving anyways. What, what's that supposed to mean? It means you may as well go home, Karen. I'm not going anywhere. Fine, how about I give you a ride home? It worked out for Owen Douglas, right? Goodbye, Bobby. Great. Perfect timing. Where were you two minutes ago? What are you doing to me? Would somebody please explain to me why I'm seeing this frickin' night pond? You're not seeing the night pond, Bobby. The night pond sees you. Who are you? I'm just an old rink rat. My name's Gus. <laughs> well, Gus? What in the world is this? Come sit down here, Bobby. I'm fine right here. So your dad left at Christmas, and your mom told you Santa wasn't real. Yeah, what do you know about it? You're standing in the middle of an imaginary hockey pond, kid. Do you really think there's not some form of magic at play here? This is totally insane. Tell me about your dad. I don't actually know too much about him. He liked old movies. He smelled like Old Spice. He used to play semi-pro hockey for the Badgers at the old Joe Man Arena. I was nine when he left. The last thing he said to me was, Merry Christmas. But it sounded more like goodbye. You don't exist, do you? Many people think that about me. But I promise you, I'm real. in here have you seen that box of dad's things 
Just let it go, Bobby. No, Mom, if you would just tell me what happened, I wouldn't have to figure it out by myself. You know, this could be our last Christmas together. I am trying to hold on to the house. I am trying to keep the family together, and I am worried that if you don't snap out of whatever this is, that I am gonna lose you for good. All I ever wanted was to keep my family together. Oh, oh you dropped the ball on that one, didn't you? Your father leaving was not my choice, Bobby. Oh, are you gonna tell me now what happened? Finally? That's what I thought. Dad. What in the world am I doing here? freaking way. Hello? I'm just a rink rat. I take care of a few hockey rinks, that's all. Do you know Cole Whiteside? Sure. Everybody knows him. He played for the Badgers. Not a bad wing, man. Left before the big game. Do you know why he left? Sure. Like I said, everyone knows. It was because of the affair. What affair? Really not my place to say, kid. Where is he now? Like I said, he left. What, what do you mean he played for the Badgers? I just saw his locker right
Hey, brother. What are you doing here? My radio's broken. Where'd you find this anyways? I finally managed to get rid of it. Wait, you gave that away? That's Roxy's favorite toy. Not to me. To me, it's a constant reminder. Cole gave this to Roxy before she was born. Of course, he left before she was born, too. That was a gift from Dad. You have no idea, man. I, uh... I thought you knew better. I thought you remembered. But then again, I guess you were, like, nine? Well, I remember. I remember that Cole was an asshole. What kind of guy leaves his family two weeks before Christmas? Well, I had to be the man of the house since then. Step up, take care of the family. Don't compare yourself to him. I'm nothing like him. You think I enjoy working out in the cold any more than he did? You think that I don't want to get out of here too? What are you talking about? You push across that lake like it's gonna take you somewhere. Like you're the only one that wants something more. Fine then. Keep pushing across that lake, little brother. You know, it wasn't Dad's fault that Mom kicked him out. Mom didn't kick him out, Bobby. Dad left. <clears throat> because of... Because of the affair? Well, you knew more than I thought. Here. I heard you were looking for this. It was next on my list to Chuck. Finish high school, Bobby. Then just get out of here. Mr. Price? What are you doing here? I haven't seen that in a long time. How did you know my dad? We went to school together, nothing special. <laughs> did you and my mother have an affair? How dare you show up at my door with accusations? Come on. You're always hanging around us, trying to help out. It's pretty obvious that you have feelings for her. We were all friends back then. Tell me what happened. Why did my dad leave? If I tell you, will you promise to move on and give your poor mother some peace? Whatever. I'm leaving anyways. Fine, then. Your mother had an affair with me. It broke your father's heart, and he left. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Guess there's nothing keeping you here anymore. That. Jehovah's Witness, don't worry about it. Well? I signed. I have to speak to mom about something. She went for a walk. Roxy! Where's Roxy? I don't know, Bobby. Well, what happened? She was crying about that stupid buddy. I went to get her a new toy, and when I got back, she was gone. And you left her alone? I don't have time for this. Hey! Wait up! Damn it. Yes, hello. 
My sister, she's... <laughs> Sir? Are you still there? Is anyone hurt? Sir? Can you please let me know your location? Dad? Dad, wait up! Christmas. Roxy! Mom, Bobby. I, I saw him. Who? Who'd you see? Santa. He was there. You just take it easy now, okay? Roxy! Are you okay? I'm cold. Take her inside. I found her on the lake. Roxy could have frozen out there because of you. Because of me? All of the unrest in this house right now is because of you. It's Christmas and you're ruining it. You're not welcome here right now. Now go. Is that what you told dad too? What are you talking about? You cheated on dad. Merry Christmas. Come in. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I couldn't remember your number. What's 
going on? I'm so... I'm... It's okay. I'm sorry. Why did you say those things? Because I... Because I didn't want to have to lose you. I never said you were gonna lose me. I said you'd be lucky to have me. Is it okay if we just sleep? Hi, sweetie. How are you doing? Come here. How about you tell me what you want for Christmas? Santa to bring Bobby back. You want to hand me that Allen wrench? Thanks. You know, I don't, uh, I don't think Charlie would mind if you changed his room. to fix this thing. Hello? Hello? Let her in, Bobby. Hello, Richard. How are you, Sarah? I'm well enough, thank you. I was just hoping we could talk. Well, I've got nothing to say to you. Please, Bobby. I'm heading home. Lock up when you're done talking with your mother. Thank you, Richard. You had an affair. With Mr. Price. No. That's not true. Who told you that? He did. Oh, Stanley. You can't blame him, Bobby. He lost everything. And he can't ignore the fact that you are very much like your father. That other woman? She was Stanley's wife. She had an affair with your father. It broke Stanley's heart and mine. 
He was a great comfort to me during that time, and I'm still grateful for him to this day, despite the man he's become. But that's it. Nothing else happened between us. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything. It's the truth. I'm sorry that I kept it from you all these years. I just... I just didn't want to lose you. How could you lose me by telling me the truth? You've had one foot out the door your entire life. There's so much of your father in you. Ever since he left, all I ever wanted was to keep my family together. And all you wanted was to follow him. So you did kick him out? I divorced him, yes. But I didn't banish him from the country. He left on his own accord. No. I don't believe you. And I guess I know how you feel about the rink. Keep the picture, Bobby. And search your heart for the truth. Tough loss, kid. Gus! Isn't it time I got some kind of explanation? What is this place? Why do you hate Christmas, Bobby? I don't want to talk about that. The typical struggles between the commercialism of Christmas and the spirit of Christmas. Are you calling me a Grinch? No. There's another struggle people have with Christmas. A deeper one. 
I found that the more loss people have experienced in their life, the harder Christmas is for them. It's a time to surround yourself with the people you love. And when they're not there, their absence is even stronger. This is stupid. Christmas isn't about losing love, Bobby. It's about seeing it. What does that have to do with this place? Consider the Night Pond a gift. From who? <sighs> well, I hate to tell you this then, but we're losing the Night Pond. There's a development going up around the whole lake, so your theory's not holding up so well. Well, maybe there's something you can do about it. Why would I try to save this place? Why does it have to be me? Why, indeed. What's with you in this truck? You're not the only one with a fantasy, Bobby. It's not a fantasy, Jer. I can't prove it, I can't explain it, but there's something going on on that shore, and I want to save it. All you've ever wanted to do is leave. You didn't lift a finger when you learned we're losing the house. Now you want to stop the whole project for a hockey pond that nobody sees but you? It's as good an explanation as any. Is there anything I can do? Maybe, but you're gonna have to tell me why. You're gonna have to at least try to help me understand. A lot of things that meant a lot to me are gone now, and I just wish I would have known how much they meant when I had the chance. The Night Pond means something to me, and I don't want to lose it. What about your home, brother? I don't know, man. But I feel like I need to do this to find out. Well, you can file a request with town council, I guess. But you're gonna need some support. And you won't get it from me. I'm uh, starting a petition to stop construction on the lake. That's a great idea. Actually, I was wondering if you would be the first to sign it. Of course. Thank you both. Come on, man, just sign it. The only thing that should be signed is your arrest warrant. Wow. Not that I could do your job, but I'm pretty sure Santa Claus isn't supposed to smell of booze and corn chips. You should be the one in jail. It wouldn't be the first time. All right, tell you what, I'll do it on one condition. Anything. You let me get a free shot in. What? There are kids in here. That's the only way. Okay, fine. Right on. There you go. Hey. Merry Chris. Uh, I'd really like for that to mean something new. What makes you think I'm gonna sign that? You know, a year ago, you two would have signed it without giving it a second thought. Things were different back then. Yeah, I guess. Look, I'm sorry. When Charlie died, okay, I... Okay, whoa. I don't need to hear some big explanation. That's all I needed to say, man. So... Give me that stupid thing.
Now, uh, come hit the ice with the team sometime, right? I will. Sweet. Hey, Bobby. Sorry about giving Karen such a hard time. I, I know we've been real jerks, it's just... It's just he's such a good hockey player. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Did Jeremy tell you about the petition? Yeah. It's really great, Bobby. Do you want to sign it? Absolutely. Yeah. How'd you ever get so many signatures? The entire hockey team, some of the teachers, the Stangowitz, of course. There's got to be a hundred names here. Jeremy won't sign it. You know, you could come home if you wanted. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks, Mom. everybody. Thank you. We would now like to call up Robert Whiteside on the matter of the New Haven development. Now, as I understand, you have submitted a petition calling for a halt on construction and having the area declared a heritage site. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Well then, the floor is yours. Good afternoon. I would like to thank the town council, as well as the rest of the town, for allowing me this moment to speak. My name is Bob. The council acknowledges that you probably have a very worthy preamble, Mr. Whiteside. However, we do have other matters to discuss here today and would appreciate your getting to the point. Of course, Councillor. I was, uh, I was just trying to, uh, I wanted to, I have submitted the petition to have the shoreline declared a town heritage site. And why should we do that? Well, this country's been filling up with cities that are growing fast, you know, being filled up with shopping malls and, and condos. The people of this small town. I'm sorry, but I cannot sit by and listen to this nonsense. So far, young Mr. Whiteside is right about one thing. This is a small town. That means everyone knows what's really going on here. He believes he can see a magical hockey rink on the lake. That is his singular motive for this petition. How he's managed to garner so much support, I'll never know. Mr. Whiteside, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to agree with Mr. Price here. Do you really expect this council to believe that this is all about the town and not about you? Mr. Whiteside?
Mr. Whiteside. Mr. Price is right. I do see a rank out there. Can you not blame me for not wanting to say that out here? I was trying to find some other reason that we could all pretend to believe in, to keep what I've come to call the night pond. This isn't play school, Bobby. Unless you're willing to admit here for everybody that you've been fantasizing that this is all some charade of coping, that the so-called night pond is not in fact even real, then your request has absolutely no integrity. Can we please move on, counselor? Patience, Mr. Price. Not real. Not real. Is that the issue here today, Mr. Price? That the night bond isn't real? You know, some people would claim that Santa Claus isn't real. But hey, what's Christmas without Santa? Right? I mean, people don't believe in an actual man that is Santa Claus. People believe in the idea of Santa, the spirit of love. Being grateful for the things and the people that you do love. That is the spirit of Christmas. Well, the spirit of Christmas is the magic of the night pond. I've lost a lot of things, a lot of people, but and now I see how much I still have here today. If it wasn't for the night pond, I would be long gone, well shut of this small town, and I, I would have lost it all. Like my dad, my dad. My father left once. I used to think that um, we lost him, but now I understand. Now I get it. He lost us. Do you believe in Christmas? I'm actually asking you, do all of you believe in the spirit of Christmas? Well, I don't, or rather, I didn't. But believing in the spirit of Christmas is believing in the night pond. It's, it's believing in everything that you hold dear. And everything that you've lost, sharing it with your neighbors, and it's about family. Families who stick together, no matter what. It's a... It's about fathers. Fathers who left. And it's about the fathers who stayed. <laughs> Christmas is about family and love and hope. And the night pond. The night pond is Christmas. And you know, all these people in here and all those people out there, they didn't sign the petition because they believe that the night pond is real. Are you kidding me? 
They signed it because they believe in me. Because they love me. And quite frankly, I would be doing them a disservice if I stood up here today and lied, Mr. Price. Which is why I can't even stand here and pretend to admit that I was making it up, or that I was coping, or whatever. Because I do believe in the Night Pond. I, I, I truly do see it. I believe in Christmas. And I sincerely hope Nothing more than for everyone here, especially you, Mr. Price, to believe in it too. Thank you, everyone. That is quite enough. This is all well and good, but it does not change the fact that your magic rink does not exist. Mr. Whiteside, I want to applaud you on your passion and your dedication. It is no surprise to me now how you have acquired such support. And were I on that side of this table, I assure you, you'd have my support as well. As it is, I am on this side of the table. And on this side of the table, I must give civic explanations for my decisions. And I have to agree with Mr. Price. I simply cannot justify granting your request under the circumstances. Everyone, that is enough now. Counselor, please. I've lost some love myself, young man. Nothing would make me happier than to see what you've just described. I promise you that. But as there is nothing currently on that shore but undeveloped land, the project will proceed as planned. I'm truly sorry, Bobby. Merry Christmas. Hello, Bobby. Gonna play some hockey? No. No, not tonight. You were there today. I was. Why? I came to see if you learned your lesson. Well, what lesson? Why me? You've been so concerned with what you lost. You haven't been loving what you have. But I blew it. They're destroying the night pond. I'm losing the night pond. You're here, aren't you? So what? Losing is losing. Just do one more thing for me. Believe in one more thing. Oh, forget it. I'm done with you, man. And I'm done with this place. Sources say Bobby Whiteside's got one more game in him. Consider it your Christmas present to me. Charlie. This whole town needed to learn about the spirit of Christmas. You most of all. Why? Why me? You said it yourself. You were gonna leave, and you are gonna lose it all. Why didn't you just come to me, man? Why all of this? Where's Gus? Who is he? You know who he is. It was you outside my window that night. I was just trying to help you find your sister, man. What is the night pond? You said it way better than I ever could. It was a fine speech. Well, you've been watching me? Of course. And of course I've been watching over you. You're my best friend. <laughs> but 
She got a better best friend now. She's a real beauty. Karen. Which brings me to this. I need to ask a favor of you. Is this for me? No, man, you got lots of presents. I need you to give that to someone else for me. And what about the night bond? They're gonna destroy it. The night bond can never be destroyed. It'll always be here for someone who needs it. What about you? Will you be gone? I never was and I never will be. Okay. How about that game? Well, did you know that when it snows, you see our breath because it's cold? And in the night, you listen tight, and you will hear our love the light. Up in the sky, you hold your eyes, you think it's here, it comes tonight. Your tongue and catch that snow tonight. I'll keep you laughing, all oh, so warm inside. But first, we chase the colors across the frozen ice from all the lights. You sure you can handle it around here? You think you'll make enough down at the shop? Yeah, you're the one who has to pay off all those student loans, right? And it over already. I gotta get going. I'm still not sure that I should be going. It's okay. I got this. You guys know where you're gonna live yet? It doesn't matter as long as we're all together, right? See you later, sweet girl. Kiss Hot Pop, too. <laughs> Take care of him, okay? I will. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. I love you too. I'm so proud of you. Are you gonna be okay? Are you kidding? She's already got a date lined up for New Year's Eve. Yeah? Not another teacher, I hope. Go on now. <laughs> hey, what time uh, do you think you'll be getting in there? Traffic shouldn't be too bad Christmas night, right? Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh... I got a smoking deal in that apartment, so I got to get there right away. All right, well, don't forget to call us when you get there. Merry Christmas, brother. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Oh. You know, I can't believe Mr. Price fixed this thing, okay? <laughs> yeah, his hot wire tractor story was no joke. Go figure. Come visit me sometime, okay? I'll take you to a game. Yeah, I will. What the heck?
well did you know that when it snows, we see our breath because it's cold. And in the night, listen tight, and you will hear our love the light up in the sky. Hold your eyes. I think it's here. It comes tonight, and I know it's cold. But with that snow, I feel it here. Christmas cheer. Hold out your tongue and catch that snow tonight. I'll keep you laughing, oh no, so warm inside. First we chase the colors across the frozen ice from all the lights. Well, did you know that when it snows, we see our breath because it's cold. And in the night, listen tight, and you will hear our love the light. Up in the sky, you hold your eyes. I think it's here. It comes tonight, and I know it's cold. But with that snow, I feel it here. Christmas cheer. Hold out your tongue and catch that snow tonight. I'll keep you laughing, no oh, so warm. But first we chase the colors across the frozen ice from all the lights. Well, did you know that when it snows, we see our breath because it's cold. 